All right, in this video, we're going to go over another texture in charcoal. We're going to do um, glass. So this is number two with glass. And as you can see, I had my glass here set up with the paintbrush, and then I went ahead and took a picture. So you guys are going to be working from a picture, and so will I, so that you can kind of see as I'm doing this and follow along. And so this time, I've put my sketchbook, I lined it up um, vertically or portrait style because this glass and paintbrush are kind of tall. Um, so you might want to do that with your sketchbook. I'm trying to get good lighting. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to draw it. So again, I'm going to use my piece of willow, okay? If you want to sketch it with pencil, that's okay. Just try not to draw too hard. So when you're sketching this in, again, look at how there's an oval at the top. You know, it's curved on the sides, it gets skinnier. And then actually down here, it's kind of like a full circle, a little bit. It's not, um, it's not like a skinny little oval like it is up here. It's like a little, it's a, almost a full circle. And then we're also gonna draw this line back here too to make it look like it's setting on something. And then we're gonna sketch in the paintbrush. And actually we're gonna talk a lot about um, texture up here with the bristles on the paintbrush as we shade that in. So we're gonna be shading in our glass and the paintbrush. So I'm gonna, so I can help myself out here again. And I'm gonna draw maybe like a tall rectangle. You don't have to do this, but you can. This is how I'm gonna kind of get the shape of my wine glass or glass here, okay? So I'm gonna put a line down the middle to make it um, even on both sides, symmetrical. All right, so then I'm gonna put my oval for the top of the glass up here at the top. So it's like a kind of a skinny oval. And then this bottom part of my glass, like if I were to cut this glass in half, it would maybe be about right here. So that means that this area of my glass is lower than this line, so I need to kind of pay attention to that. So maybe I cut this in half a little bit, so then my sides are gonna start to taper in a little bit. And then I have the neck of the glass that kind of comes down. And then, a lot of people do this incorrectly, but this circle, see how it goes behind this part of my glass right here? Okay, so then I'm gonna make sure it's doing that. And I may come out of my um, rectangle a little bit. That's okay, because I needed it to be a little bit longer, so. And then really, my neck of my um, glass can be longer. So see how I had to kind of erase there to kind of fix it. And see how I'm kind of like getting rid of stuff that I don't need because I'm just working with willow so I can just smudge it away and get rid of it. All right. So there's kind of that right now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this that stuff out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and put in this line back here so that I don't forget about it. So now it looks like it's sitting somewhere. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw on the paintbrush. So it comes out pretty far out of our, um, out of our little glass here. Where does it start to curve here when it's touching like the rim and then where does it dip down? into and see also what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sketch in maybe this dark shape just to help me out before I actually sketch in where my paintbrush is. So I just kind of put in that loose dark shape. All right so now I'm going to put in my paintbrush. It's kind of in the middle of my glass. Kind of gets a little bit lighter there, comes to a point.
there's the little part of it, like a squarish rectangle. And then I can make it a little bit thicker so I can add another line next to it. I can see the side of it over here. And then my bristles of my paintbrush, I can either just go ahead and make just like a block of color because we'll get to all that later. And then I can get rid of what I don't need from the wine glass. It's probably going to change shape later on. Okay, so there's that. Um, I have a little bit of a shadow down here. I do have a shadow on the canvas that my picture was taken from, but don't worry about that. Just worry about kind of this shadow that's actually happening on the table. I wish there was a little bit more, but we're just going to kind of go with that little bit right there. Okay, so with glass, and there's also, well, we'll talk about that in a second. So with glass, okay. So I have an outline of my objects, okay? So what I also like to do with glass, what's really important is I like to create a background um, and put value around it because right now we just have outlines and again, we always wanna try to get rid of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something like this. I'm gonna put, see how I'm using the whole side of my willow to just do a nice soft gray all the way around it and see how I get all the way up to my object. I'm not doing this. Oops. Okay. See how right here there's a space between my object and my willow? We don't want that. It's kind of like created a little halo around our object. We don't want that. We want the willow to come all the way up to our object. You have to be careful so you don't lose your object. I'm just doing little short strokes all the way around. And then I'm using my finger to soften it and make a nice little gray all the way around. And now just by doing that, it already looks like it's sitting somewhere and there's no outlines anymore, hopefully. You might have some, but we'll keep working on that. Okay, so now I put uh, willow around it. And then the other thing that I also like to do with glass is I like to put willow inside my object, okay? There's the, the front of the glass, the inside of the glass, and the back of the glass that we see. So we have to try to get all that. So now, same thing. I'm shading inside my glass. I'm gonna leave my paintbrush alone for a while. And again, you have to be careful so this all doesn't merge together and look like one big gray mess. So again, you do have to be mindful about where your object is and ends and begins compared to the background. So you do have to, you can't be wiping your hand around over here, just using your finger to kind of move it around. Okay, so we have a background, we have it filled in. So with glass, what I like to do first, is you can see in our picture here, we have all these little highlights, okay? All these little glares, there's a reflection of the window, all these little things. And then this value is lighter, this is a medium value, and this is really dark. So it's also we used, I used colored glass, so then it's kind of like you can give, like this is a light blue, medium blue, really, really dark black almost, okay? So what I like to do first is I like to take out all these little highlights. And the only way I can see them is because I've added the willow, okay? That's why we did that. And then also look at the rim. There's little highlights on the rim or lighter places. So I'm literally gonna come in here with my eraser. You can use your pencil top eraser, your kneaded eraser, whatever you feel comfortable with, and erase these lighter values. 
And the only way I could see these was because we've added the willow. That's why we did that. Sometimes you have to add to then be able to take away. So now I'm using my eraser and I'm drawing these light shapes. Are you going to get every single little thing? No. You definitely want to get the main ones or the big ones that are really apparent. Maybe over here I'm kind of starting to lighten that up a little bit because I know it's going to get a little bit lighter. Maybe right here I'm going to start lightening that up. So maybe at this, at this moment you may not be able to see these highlights that well at the moment. But don't worry because as we start to come back and darken, they'll start to pop out more. And then you kind of have to keep, keep at it and keep like lightening and darkening, lightening and darkening back and forth. Okay, so there's some of my highlights that I've erased. So now I'm gonna start coming in with my charcoal pencils and I'm gonna look at these dark shapes. This is so dark. These are my darkest values, okay? So I'm probably gonna use my 6B pencil because that is my soft pencil. So I'm gonna lightly sketch in that dark shape there. These are shapes of darks and lights. I'm looking at where that is. I'm probably gonna need to fix my shape of my wine glass thingy because it got a little bit too thick over there. So I sketch that in and then now I'm darkening it. And I'm darkening it by layering it, not by pressing hard. And after you add, you probably need to use your finger to kind of soften it and blend it. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom area. It's really, really dark. And a little bit ago, I erased that little highlight. So watch how I kind of just go around that highlight to make sure it stays there. If you accidentally cover it, then go back and erase. It's a little bit like a medium gray right there. So maybe I'll use my eraser to kind of soften that back a little bit. <laughs> and this spreads this way to the left. And I'm coming around the front. And I'm not pressing hard because we don't want outlines. So I'm trying to kind of thicken up the bottom part of my wine glass there at the bottom. A little bit darker than the, this area. I'm constantly looking back and forth at my reference image, my little picture here that I have and that you guys will have. Looking at these shapes. Where does, this, where does this darkness spread and blend? Maybe I'll use my 2B over here. I think I'm curving with this shape of this circle. This kind of went around that little highlight there. I'll probably come back later on and, and erase it to make it cleaner. I need to get this a little bit darker, some more contrast to that, that edge area. Maybe come in with my eraser and soften that, lighten that a little bit. This area is a little bit lighter because my light is coming from the right. Sometimes your eraser already has charcoal on it from something else, so you have to clean it off. All right, what am I using? I'm, using my six. I'm going to come into my 2B now. 
And now I'm going to go over here. This is more of a medium value. It's really dark here, so this is more of a medium value. I'm probably going to kind of define my um, the rim of my glass a little bit. So maybe I'll just put in like these simple little lines just to kind of accentuate the highlight. I'm not pressing super hard because I don't want it to be like a super dark outline. I'm kind of just looking. This is tricky where I see little bits of darkness in that rim. And maybe the line stops. Maybe it doesn't always get completed or go all the way around. That's okay. And I will have to come back and kind of bring my highlight back. So now I'm going to use my 2B for just this medium value here. If you wanted to be super detailed, you could even like put in the, the detail of the window pane. But you don't have to. You can just leave it like a big white square. But you can. I'm just taking my time. My strokes are really close together. And I want to make sure that this value goes all the way up to the edge of my, um, my, my cup. I don't want to leave a space there or a line there. I have to go all the way up. There's this little bit of darkness that's, that's right here. I'm going to paint in with my sticky to darken that. You see how I'm kind of going around my highlight to kind of like thin it out or even clean it up a little bit. So right now I'm still just using my 2B because it's just like a medium value. And like, don't forget to soften it and blend it a little bit with your finger. It's right here, it's lighter in my picture, so I came in with my eraser earlier. Kind of like I've softened it, it's light over here on this edge. Sometimes you will have light or a highlight on the edge, and that's okay. Um, but then to see how you know our background has created this, uh, this other shape, and so then you have the light against the dark and you don't have that outline. It's kind of medium down here, medium bluish. And it kind of fades. And sometimes you'll just have like a little bit of willow as like your value. Um, so it kind of fades up to pretty light over here. So I will kind of soften this. But I bet I need to come back and make these highlights better or cleaner. And then maybe I'll come in and kind of lighten this just a little bit up against my paintbrush. I need to come in and define this paintbrush a little bit more because I kind of lost it. And I feel like I need a little bit more contrast down here, so I'm going to build that up more and darken that. And you know, you can use your kneaded you eraser too. I'm just. I'll go ahead and use that for a little bit. Sometimes that can clean up those highlights even better than the pencil top eraser. Sometimes that gets a little dirty and then it's hard to clean it and get it bright. So 
always when you're doing this, you're looking around. And is it dark or is it medium? This is kind of like a nice toothy area over here. Maybe it's a little bit darker. So it's a little bit darker. So maybe I want to try to. I don't want to darken it too much because I don't want to make it blend in or get as dark as what's happening down here. So maybe I'll come in with my eraser and soften that back a little bit, highlight it. This side, this side stays a little bit lighter because the, the light source is coming in lighter in here. Now I'm coming around and I mean, teensy weensy little highlights you can add if you want to. All right, let's talk about the bristles and the paintbrush. Um, so we've already put willow down for it, and if you haven't, then you can go ahead. So see how I kind of just use the whole side to do that. And um, the bristles are kind of dark, so that's why I kind of want a little bit dark with my willow. And so then what I'm going to do, I can use your, you can use your 2B, your 6B, I'm going to use my 2B. So there's all these little lines, right? And there's actually paint left over on it too. So I'll be kind of fun to do. So with my um, 2B pencil, make sure it's sharpened really well. See how I'm just kind of going up and away and creating these lines. So this is the first time we've like, wanted to create texture okay or like scratchy lines this is the very first time you're able to do that so i've created these lines and what i didn't do you know what i didn't do with this i wasn't just like blah, 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 like back and forth back and forth back and forth for every single line i started back here and then i went up okay right so now i'm going to use i like to use my pencil top eraser for this part because it usually has a nice edge to it so then I need to come back in, I need to take away the lighter places. So again, I'm starting at the bottom and then going up. And just by doing a little bit of that, you can see it's kind of building up these different levels of uh, grays, okay? And so then if you look at your reference image, it is darker at the bottom area and then over here. So then what I'm gonna do is kind of come back to the dark bottom area and kind of add a little bit more because the more lines you put somewhere or more value, then it gets darker, okay? And then I'm gonna come back again, kind of lighten it and take away some. So I'm always going back and forth, adding lines and then taking away, oh, you can't see that, taking away lines. So back and forth. That's what we want to achieve here with a paintbrush. Okay, I'm not concerned about um, the handle or this part because that's what we covered more with like smooth or whatnot. So with this one, it's more about the glass and then the bristles of the paintbrush, trying to get that texture that we've never had to do before. Sometimes you have to like press a little bit harder to get the highlights to kind of pop out and then see how when I add a little bit of, of lines back over it, then you're kind of developing these different layers of lights and darks in the paintbrush. All right, so 
that is going to be the video. You may have to rewatch this to see it again and listen to what I have to say about it. So that's glass.